just an instructional video on the differences between LT230 input gears and which input gear to go for in your transfer box and which one to use when fitting adapter kits and different types of gearboxes. The first obvious one is tooth count. They vary in tooth count depending on what ratio you've got. So they can be 26 teeth, they can be 28 teeth and they can vary on the main tooth here. And that'll depend on what ratio transfer box you've got. On the same gear, so on this same gear here, they can vary on width. So you can see the gear on the left hand side here is wider than the gear on the right hand side. And that relates to their age. So this is an earlier gear, whereas this is a later gear. The earlier gear has approximately a 28 millimeter width gear. And the later one has a 33 millimeter width gear. So another difference or key difference on LT230 gears that can vary across ages is these holes here. So the very early gears didn't have those holes, as you can see, and then later ones do. And what those holes are there for is to allow oil to enter the splines, the input gear splines here, and lubricate them. On earlier ones, they didn't have that hole and they were notorious for wearing out the internal spline on the shaft and, and also the external spline on the gearbox that they were fitted to. So where possible you want a gear that's got that cross drill through to lubricate the splines. If you don't have and you find that your LT230 has an earlier gear like this without the holes, you can order uh, from the website an oil feed plate that will feed the splines in a different way, slightly more complex way, but it, it does the same job. The next difference across the LT230 input gears is the dog spline here, which for most people is something that doesn't get used anyway. It's really only if you've got a PTO of some kind or some custom application. So for the most part, this really won't be critical. But as you can see, the gear on the left, which is the later gear, has a nine tooth gear here, and the earlier one has an 18 tooth gear here. The next major difference between LT230 gears relates to the internal spline here. On the earlier LT230 gears, the internal spline didn't run as far as it does on the later gear. On the earlier gear, the depth of the spline was approximately 45 millimeters long. And on the later gear, it's approximately 70 millimeters long. So it's significantly longer. And the reason for that is because on the earlier gears, that, that short spline meant that there was an increased load or less surface area on the spline, which wears them out very quickly, added to the fact that they weren't cross-drilled. On the later one, it's 70 millimeters, so it's much, much, much longer. It allows more surface area on that spline which reduces wear. Where possible, you want to be running the later gear that's got the long spline and also has the cross-drilled holes um, for lubrication. The only place where running the later gear won't really make a difference other than the cross-drilled is if you're running an LT77 or an LT85. The reason being that the LT77 and LT85 output gear only has a short spline that matches this earlier gear. So if you're running an LT77 or LT85, you'll only still be running 45 to 50 mil of spline, irrespective of the input gear. If you're running an automatic or an R380, you need to be running the later gear with the longer spline and the cross-drilled. That way you'll get maximum spline engagement and minimum wear. If you're running one of our adapter kits that comes with an adapter shaft similar to this, it's absolutely imperative that you run the later gear with the longer spline in it. The shaft is designed specifically to go with the longer spline. It isn't designed for the earlier one. If you run an earlier gear in your transfer box, you will damage the shaft. And there are options to run later ones to save that being damaged. So we recommend that you run the later gear because without lubrication on this spline, you will wear it out. And with the shorter spline, you will also wear it out much quicker than if you ran the later gear. And the shaft will not be covered by warranty if you run the earlier gear. So just a visual example, this is a 45 mil spline and that's how much engagement you have and that's how much of the spline is doing the work. And then if you run it to 70 mil, which is there, you can see now 
that there's a massive increase in surface area so more of that shaft more of that spline is doing work and you're less likely to see wear as always if you have any questions please just drop us an email the email address is info at synchrogearboxes.com or you can contact us through the website as well